The principle called the path of wildness is uh, the original principle from going alone, the original pr principle in the Good Life Creed. It was an idea that I came up with uh, way back in Japan, walking up in the mountains uh, along a farm road um, up by a, a waterfall that I called the White Whale. Um, and it came about as a result of a, a short poem that I wrote that goes like this. The path of wildness is easy to find. The course of a stream, leaves blown in the wind, and a beast track through the brush. <laughs> I can't even say it right. Let me try this again. The path of wildness is easy to find. It's the course of a stream, leaves blown in the wind, and the direction of our first inclination. Boy, I can't remember it. Oh my gosh, I'm not getting it right. The path of wildness is easy to find. Oh my gosh, wow. It's spooky that I can't remember it. Just a second here. <laughs> and it's not even listed. It's in here somewhere. I've got a, I've got the that poem throughout the book. I'm kind of I'm a little unsettled that I can't remember it. I, I I keep waiting for my mind to start to slip. Little things like this. Ah, uh, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. It's just like at least three times it's listed in the book. Let me try one more time. The path of wildness is easy to find. Lee, I know I can't remember it. This is really unsettling and embarrassing. Leaves blown in the wind, a beast tracked through the brush. The course of a stream, I don't. Anyway, <laughs> it refers to using to be in a dilemma about which way forward, as I am a little bit right now with my move to Japan with the family and recognizing that sometimes the path, the way forward, the path of wildness is the way that uh, nature courses, like leaves blowing in the wind, stream waters flowing on a gra down a gra gravity grade, you know, beasts tracked through the brush, and the direction of our first inclination. That's the thing. What's your first inclination? My first and a powerful inclination is to get back to Japan. This adventure here is over. America is done for us. So yeah. And it looks like I said it, didn't I, without saying it. I got, I got the path. I got the sentiment out, if not the, the words themselves. So there you go. That's what the path is. The path of wildness is, is a way to make a decision when uncertain about which way to go. Because what happens a lot of time is that we lose time and we, our life whittles away. We know, fretting and fuming and wondering and worrying about how we should best live. And if I all the while realize, not realizing that our life is being played out um, in spite of uh, our, indes in, our indecision. I recommend sometimes to, if we can't, to, to think about to think about the options, to play them out, to reasonably think about the pros and the cons and the assumptions relative to each option. And then if we still if we can make a decision based on reasonable criteria, then do so. If we need more time, give ourselves more time, but only a little more time. And if we need a little more time after that, then a little more time, but then draw the line after maybe two attempts and make a decision. If we still can't make a decision, then the path of wildness suggests that we go with our first inclination. Realizing and recognizing that that inclination may lead us off the edge of a cliff. That may be our doom. But sometimes even that is a better end than uh, not trying. There I, I'm satisfied with that. I think I got the sentiment of this principle out in spite of the fact that I couldn't remember how to say it. <laughs>